بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Dear brothers, dear sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Welcome back to the Tarbiya series And uh, true friendship What does that invoke in you? Who's your true friend? Who should your children take as their true friends? Do your children realize what true friendship is? Do you realize what true friendship is? Do you have any true friends? Or are all your friends simply those you find on social media? Those you cannot spend a quality evening with if you wanted to? So are they really your friends? So Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam are very clear about the role of friendship. It's a very powerful, impactful role in our lives. As Allah Zawajal says, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَيَوْمَ يَعُضُّ الظَّالِمُ عَلَى يَدَيْهِ يَقُولُ يَا لَيْتَنِ اتَّخَذْتُ مَعَ الرَّسُولِ سَبِيلًا يَا وَيْلَتَا لَيْتَنِي لَمْ أَتَّخِذْ فُلَانًا خَلِيلًا لَقَدْ أَضَلَّنِي عَنِ الذِّكْرِ بَعْدَ إِذْ جَاءَنِي وَكَانَ الشَّيْطَانُ لِلْإِنسَانِ خَذُولًا So, a man will say on the day of Qiyamah that he will be biting his hand, he'll be out of woe and out of misery and out of regret, out of uh, uh, the regret for life, how he wasted his, his life, following the wrong people, befriending the wrong people, having the wrong company. And he will be biting the flesh of his hand. And he will say that, woe to me. Had I not, had I taken the way of the Rasul to, as, my, as my way of guidance and the way to follow. Had I just followed the Rasul, had I not messed around and just played around in life, fooled around had I just followed the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ya waylata laytani lam attakhith fulanan khalila that misery woe upon me I, I, I'm full of regret at this moment that why did I take such and such as a friend why did I make friends with him laqad adallani an dhikri he indeed, he definitely misguided me. He deviated me from the right guidance, from the remembrance of Allah, from the worship of Allah, from the obedience of Allah. He led me astray from the, the, the advice that the Prophet gave me. After that, it had come to me. So the advice had come to me, the deen had come to me, the Qur'an came to me, I was born in a Muslim family. I was born, you know, as a good practicing Muslim. But, or, you know, someone came to me with deen, with, with Islam, and, and I liked it, but because of my friends, I never accepted it. وَكَانَ الشَّيْطَانُ لِلْإِنسَانِ خَذُولَ and, in, and, and shaitan becomes the one who abandons the human in the worst of situations. So shaitan is our worst enemy and he will abandon us in the worst situation. When we need help the most, that's when shaitan abandons you. And a lot of times, unfortunately, those who pretend to be our friends are actually working for shaitan. They might not even know it. Remember, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, مِنَ الْجِنَّةِ وَالنَّاسِ أَلَّذِي يُوَسْوِسُ فِي خُضُورِ النَّاسِ مِنَ الْجِنَّةِ وَالنَّاسِ that the one who whispers the evil uh, in, 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 our, in our chest, in our hearts, whether they be from jinn and whether they be from humans. So sometimes it's the human shayateen that pose as friends, that pose as those who, who love us or those who, who think we're cool and who uh, you know, want us to be part of their posse or their group or their, uh, their gang. And we're willing to do anything to please them. Is that the true friendship? That is what we have to ask. Who's a true friend? What is true friendship? True friendship is the one that benefits you in the Akhirah. A true friend is not, con uh, is not only concerned about your dunya, but is also concerned about your Akhirah, is mainly concerned about your Akhirah. Because that's where you have to live forever. The one who is not concerned about your akhirah, is he even your friend? Is she even your friend? 
Would you even define them as a friend? A true friend will never turn you to your enemy. Would your true friend ever turn you over to your enemy? Our worst enemy is shaitan. If your friend is leading you towards shaitan, is he or she even your friend? Or are they just working for shaitan? So Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he advised us, الرَّجُلُ عَلَىٰ دِينِ خَلِيلِ فَلْيَنْظُرْ أَحَدُكُمْ مَنْ يُخَالِلْ That a man is on the religion of his friend. The man adopts the religion of his friend. The way of life of his friend. The lifestyle of his friend. He even accepts the religion of his friend. We, I know so many brothers who became Muslim because of their Muslim friends. So man is on the religion of his friend. Watch out. Be careful who you make friends with. Be careful who you make friends with. That's Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam advising us. A man, man over here, of course, a man, a woman adopts the religion, even is ready to adopt the religion of their friend. Be careful who you make friends with. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala gives us the advice that kunu ma sadiqeen Ya yulladhina amanu attaqullahu wa kunu ma sadiqeen O people of Iman, have taqwa and be with those who are true. Be with those who are true. Hang out with those who are true. Don't hang out with the liars. Don't hang out with those who are not true to you or to their, to their rub or true to their parents or true to their, their values. Don't hang out with them. Kunu ma sadiqeen Look, doing acts of piety doesn't make you pious. Being around pious people does make you pious. And similarly, doing acts, doing an evil act doesn't make you evil. But hanging around evil people who are constantly in, in evil acts will make you evil, will make you a bad person. Because we subconsciously pick up bad habits. We don't understand. This is from my own youth, from my teenage you know, uh, because of our, alhamdulillah, our upbringing and, you know, just logic and sense, you know, we'd avoid a lot of these bad things, you know, not even, we wouldn't even touch a cigarette. And uh, so I was working in this drama production and everyone hanging out there, they were theater people, so they'd be doing all sorts of, they'd be smoking all sorts of stuff. It wasn't just tobacco, right? So, and I'd say, I said, you know, there's nothing wrong with hanging out with these people. I'm not going to do the bad things they do. But then I slowly realized that I'm picking up bad language, foul language. I, you know, in our, in our background, we wouldn't use filthy language. But hanging around those people, it just became, it just slipped out of your tongue. It's, it rolled off because you're, some things you put up your guard against. But some things you let your guard down and that's where the bad habits come in. It's a subconscious acceptance that this is okay. This is not only is it okay, but you do it for the sake of fitting in. You want to fit in. You're ready to compromise your own values and your own uh, beliefs just because you want to belong. You want to be validated. You want to be accepted. You want to be appreciated. This leads you to do those wrong things which you would not be doing in other circumstances. So a true friend is someone who would who you, who you can open your heart to at any time and they will not judge you. They will not reject you. They will not ridicule you. They will not humiliate you. They will not embarrass you in front of anyone else. So does your friend do that for you? A true friend doesn't demand your friendship. A true friend doesn't demand your loyalty or your attention. You could be disconnected for years. You might meet after a long time and things are just the way they were. That love, that friendship, that camaraderie is still there. So if someone's demanding your attention or threatening you that they'll, they'll ostracize you uh, or you won't be among the cool people, then that is not your friend. It's quite clear you need to move on and have these conversations with your children as well because they really struggle, especially middle school kids, high school kids. It's very difficult in this age. They need their parents, they need their educators to have these conversations with them. And there, there really aren't any bad kids, but you know, bad company does generate somehow. So we need to first ensure that our own kids don't fall for peer pressure, don't you know, give up their values. And that's why we need to have these conversations with our children. So please uh, like the video, subscribe uh, to the channel, hit the bell icon. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum